Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 435. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 431 to 439. Hey, this person asked they had a huge data set and there was the customer ID here and then a product ID. The problem is there was just massive duplicates and he wanted to take this information, get all of the ones, so uh, um, 100, uh, 102, 201, and list them like this. All right, this is uh, one of those um, big, nasty array formulas. Get rid of all this. I have just a small data set here to, to show you here. The first thing, of course, is uh, you probably want to do um, highlight this range here and do advanced filter unique records so you can extract the unique records. And I think this is what this person said they did. So then they had this uh, column, a huge column here. They wanted a formula here. First thing we need to do is count how many of uh, these customer IDs are in our original data set. So I'm just going to click here and use count if. Count. If I can only type count if. The range, I'll highlight that whole column, and I'm going to hit the F4 key once and twice to lock it going down. Comma, and then the number is one cell to my left, so I'll use my arrow key to get that uh, B11 or one cell to my left. Close parentheses. Control Enter, and now I'm going to drag this down here. Now I'm going to leave these zeros here because if I didn't, if I had some formula to put a blank there, uh, then uh, would make this formula over here much more difficult. All right, so. Here's our formula to extract all the records. So get this. Here's the one, right? But we need to take these vertically orientated uh, product IDs and list them horizontally. All right, in this cell right here, equals if, and now we need our number incrementer in a formula, and our Rec our um, extracted records are going to be placed horizontally. So instead of the rows functions like we usually do, we have to use the columns. This will increment numbers as we copy our formula to the side. Now I'm in C11, so I'm going to put dollar sign C because the column needs to be locked. Dollar sign C11 colon C11 if that's less than or equal to our total count. This one also needs to be locked F4, F4, F4 column. When we copy it down, we'll move to this one here. All right. When that is true, what do we want? We want to do our index. Index. And the array, the things we are extracting are the product ID. So I'm going to highlight that and hit the F4 key. Let me scoot this down out of the way, the F4 key. I'm going to go ahead and scoot this so we have some more room over here now. Uh, comma, and we're looking at our screen tip. Now the row, we're going to have to use our small because we have multiple records to extract. And we need the first one, then the second one, then the third one. Now the trick for the, um, uh, well, let's go back here. We're putting a row number. So we need the row numbers. And if you think about it, we need row 1, 1, four and six, right? For this small data set, it, the, you know, the big data set might have 20 of these things we need to extract. All right, so we need a row number right here. So we're going to use small. Well, the thing that's going to trigger the right row number is if anything in this whole column right here, and I'm going to lock that in all directions also. Anything there is equal to our customer ID. Now remember, we're copying it this way, so that needs to be locked in front of the column, but not the row. When that is true, we want a row number, because the small if construction is dumping row numbers into the index. So row, and I'm just going to pick uh, one, one of these columns, and I'm going to hit F4 in all directions. Close parentheses. Oops, I didn't. that didn't work. F4. Oh, I, I, I typed a 4. There we go. And then F4. So that's the row. That's all the rows. But that's not going to work because we have one row below the first one. So we're going to subtract from it row. And it will be this B2. So I'm going to double click there, copy, and paste it right there. And then that will give us 0, but we want to always add 1. So we get wherever that original data set is copied, it's going to give us row 1, 2, 3, 4, in accordance with the true false delivered by the if. There is our value of true. We do not need the false, so we close parentheses. The, uh, the k we need is our number incrementer. So I copy that, comma, paste for k. 
close parentheses. Now, we have our row number. We don't need a column number, so close parentheses. The, that's the value of true, which is the whole index, so we comma. And if this columns turns out to be greater than our count, then what do we want? For false, we want blank. We need to show a blank. Close parentheses, and there's our whole formula there. Control Shift Enter. And then I'm going to copy it over. Whoops, that's a move. Copy it over and then double click and send it down. Not quite all the way. Why don't we do it there? So there we have it. We have our records uh, for all of the ones uh, listed horizontally. For example, this is dynamic too, so if we change this, that 99 will go away, right? Now the 51 is the only one that listed two, and then the uh, one will be there. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.